Whichever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a spooky Halloween redesign. Ooh, Twitter, okay. So basically what I'm thinking is just turning the Twitter bird into like a zombie. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just make the whole logo be a little bit more of like a pale gray blue. And I'm gonna draw a full on outline using this kind of like rough pencil. So up here, I do want it to look like there are brains coming out. I also wanna give it big, like almost crazy looking zombie eyes and we gotta add in some jaggedy teeth and make it look like there's blood dripping out of its mouth i want to add in a couple more patches that just looks like the skin is kind of falling off add in some stitches and i'm thinking it could be cool to make the wing look like it's kind of just attached with a bone this is looking so cute and creepy i'm going to add in just a couple more little gory details and here is the final result I love just how silly and goofy this one is, but I do think the little details do make it look creepy at the end of it all. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Whichever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a spooky Halloween redesign, okay? <gasps> FedEx, okay. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we call it Dead X. I'm gonna need to find a new font, but I definitely wanna try to keep the arrow in there. And then I might make it just look like it is kind of coming out of the ground with like maggots and I don't know, dead gunk all over it. So I found this font called Woodcutter and I'm gonna type out Dead X. And as you can see, it still has the arrow in there. I wanna make it look like it's coming out of the ground. So I'm gonna just draw like dirt all around it. So now I need to add just like bits of dirt all on top of it so it looks like it truly did come out of the ground. And now for the creepy part, I wanna make it look like there's maggots coming out of some of the letters. Lastly, I'm gonna add some white specks all over it to look like the whole thing is moldy and here is the final result. Honestly, the name of this one is so good and I'm so happy I found a font that still makes it look like the arrow is in there. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Whichever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a spooky redesign. Okay, what are we gonna get? Google, okay. So I'm thinking we find a scarier font than this, obviously, but I wanna call it Boogle and make the two O's be eye holes for a ghost. Okay, I found one called Black Blood and I'm gonna type out Google. Okay, maybe it be the Google colors, but I'm thinking what we actually do is change it to be a little more like dark and muted. So I went ahead and took the two O's from the original Google logo and now kind of trying to match the style of the font. I'm just gonna make the little ghost. I'm gonna add a tiny little mouth in there. I do want to color the ghost in like a pale off-white. And finally, going back in with the original Google colors, I want to give him a little red and a little yellow eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and do both of those. And here is the final result. The name of this one is just silly. And I do love that we got to incorporate a cute little ghost into those eye holes. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Whichever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a spooky Halloween redesign. Okay, Kool-Aid, all right, let's go. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we have to rename it Ghoul-Aid, and then I wanna make the Kool-Aid man look like he's like a floating ghosty little ghoul. Probably change his color and then maybe make this picture look like it's a picture of blood. So the first thing I'm gonna start with is the Kool-Aid man himself. And I'm gonna just make him be green. And I wanna draw it so that it looks like he has a little floating ghosty tail. His face is already kind of creepy, but I'm thinking what if we draw over the whole thing and then make it look like a skeleton mask, almost like he's a Grim Reaper. I do want this picture to look like blood, so I'm thinking I might draw some kind of like little splatter coming out of it. I'm gonna type out Ghoul Aid, give it the effects of the original logo, and here is the final result. Honestly, the guy was already a little bit creepy, but giving it this ghoul body and color made it up another level. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. It's October, which means it's time to make some spooky logos. Whichever this lands on, we're gonna spookify it. Okay, what are we gonna get? Apple, okay, let's go. Okay, so what I'm thinking is the poison apple from Snow White. So I wanna add a bunch of like 
green goo and then make it look like there's a skull face in there. And she does have it on a string, so I'm thinking I might add in like a little string. So I downed the opacity and I want the drips to be very exaggerated and cartoony since it's based off of Snow White. Okay, I'm loving how that's looking. Now I need to draw in the little eye folds and the nose folds for the shape of the skull. Now I need to pick a green and go ahead and color it in. I'm gonna go ahead and restore the Apple logo to its original color and add on that rope string. I do wanna add in some low lights and highlights just to make those drips look really 3D. That's looking nice and glossy. Last thing I wanna do is add in some red eyes and here is the final result. I think this one is a perfect one to start off with. The poison apple just works so perfectly for this one and a great one to jump back into the Halloween spirit. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Whichever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a spooky redesign, okay? Sprite, okay, let's go. Okay, so basically what I'm thinking with this one is we rename it to say Fright. And then something about this shape is just giving me vampire mouth. So I'm just gonna transform the whole outside first and make the background be like a dark purple. And now I'm just gonna start drawing in those teeth and then do something similar on the bottom row. And then of course, color them all in. Okay, I removed the Sprite logo and then now I wanna make a circle in the back just to kind of look like the back of the throat and then add in that little I don't know what that's even called. Last thing before I add the new font back in there, I wanna make it look like some of these teeth are dripping with blood. I found this really fun font. I'm gonna type out Fright, and I made it the color of like a very pale person, so it looks like the vampire sucked its blood. And all that's left to do is put it in, and here's the final result. Honestly, this one turned out so cute and fun, but also scary at the same time. I love the idea of it being a mouth. I don't know, I just love how this one turned out. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. It's spooky month, so whatever logo this filter lands on, we're gonna give it a spooky redesign. Okay, what are we gonna get? <gasps> Twitch, okay, I think I have an idea, let's go. Okay, so with this name, it's pretty obvious we have to call it Witch. Witch! And then for this little guy, I think I wanna make him look like a cartoony version of a witch. So the first thing I'm gonna do is select the T and get rid of it. Okay, so obviously we need to add on a witch's hat. And I do wanna make it kind of angly just because the whole rest of the logo is very square and add on a little strap and buckle. That's looking so cute. I do wanna keep the face simple, but I'm thinking we add on some, I don't know, like mean evil eyebrows. And I also wanna add a big nose. I also wanna add some tiny hairs to her chin. The colors are already giving Halloween, but lastly, I just wanna make the witch part be green and here's the final result. This is one of those ones that just turned out so adorable. I don't know if we can even call it spooky at this point, but I love how it looks. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a spooky redesign, okay? Red Bull, okay. Okay, so my idea is to rename it Red Ghoul. I'm hoping we can make it look like ghost bulls. Um, if not, we'll just have to make these two little ghosts. And then instead of the circle in the middle, I wanna make that a moon. Okay, so the first step is gonna be to kind of outline the bulls, but then I need to make the bottom part look like almost like a ghost, like a sheet ghost. <laughs> okay, so here's how that little ghost bowl came out. I'm gonna color him red and just duplicate it and move it over. Now I'm gonna draw a circle in the middle to represent the moon. I'm just gonna add some shadows in there as well as some craters. I found this really cool font, so I'm gonna type out red ghoul and here is the final result. I am really happy with how these two little red ghost bulls turned out. I think the logo is so cute and also a little bit spooky. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments.